So a couple of months ago, I lost my uh, lawnmower to uh, college and realized I was going to have to mow my own lawn for the first time in six years, and I couldn't bear the thought of that. So <clears throat> I thought maybe I could make an RC lawnmower, which would at least be more fun. Uh, so I took my existing mower, just a Honda mower that I had, and then took a uh, electronic wheelchair and dismantled it and welded it all together to make a frame using most of the parts from the uh, wheelchair. Um, all of this is from the wheelchair. The wheels are from the wheelchair, the motors, um, the wheels up front, and then some scrap iron that I had lying around. The idea was to do it so that the mower would bolt in um, to the existing wheels so that I could use the current height adjustment levers. Uh, and if I ever change mowers, I can just pull this mower out and put in something else. Um, so yeah, so that was the goal. If I, it turns out none of this works, the nice thing is uh, all the cables and everything for the original mower are still there. I just gotta put the wheels back on, put the handlebar back on, hook the cables back up and everything will work. So the brains of everything are in this box here. Um, definitely more complicated than it needs to be, but the goal was to be able to apply power to parts of the system and not other parts of the system, uh, as well as then once you've got the master switch um, to an emergency, you can hit that. And there are electronics inside that will kill the um, the blade. This mower has a blade break on it, so it'll, it'll release that and stop the blade in a second or two as well as I've wired into the, um, I don't know what you want to call it, the kill switch, the fail safe uh, that grounds the spark plug. So it'll stop the motor um, directly. Uh, inside, this is what it looks like. And it's all the electronics um, to make this thing work. So over here, we've got the mass, that's the initial, um, circuit breaker just so I can shut things off and work on things without worrying about electrocuting myself. This big piece here is what they use for uh, battle bots, just the motor controller. And so it, it drives the wheels. It takes RC input, um, which wires over to here to a standard RC controller. Um, and then this is, is feeds out to this servo, which controls the throttle on the on the mower itself and what allows me to stop it uh set the choke and and whether i want to low idle or high idle um, it also feeds to this servo which is a monster 60 kilo kilogram servo uh, which was necessary because that's how much force it takes to engage or disengage the blade break uh, it was a mind-blowing amount of force um, this piece here is uh well and this one are both just step down converters so they convert from t the 24 volts that's coming into the system uh this one converts down to 5 volt 3 amp and this one converts down to 6 volt 10 amp i believe and the reason for that is is that when this servo is cranking it can pull 7 amps uh, on its own and so a lot of this complicated wiring in here is so that the signals are coming from the the uh, receiver uh, but the power is it's being separately powered so that we don't overwhelm this little guy um, the other piece that is part of this is that because the servo is so strong what i had hoped was is once engaged once it lost power i.e once you hit the shutoff switch i was hoping that uh, the spring would simply pull the lever back and engage the blade break, but this thing is uh, strong enough, even without power, that it won't do that. And so I use um, this thing, which is a relay, to uh, divert the signal. So depending on what power switches are turned on, by default, when just this little red toggle switch is turned on, um, then this is configured such that the signal for this servo is provided by this. Uh, and what this is just a little servo tester and you can turn that knob and the servo will move. So I just have this set in the quote off position. And so by default, this thing will always sit right here. Uh, once you engage the second um, emergency switch and turn that on, then current flows through here, switches um, 
the relay poles. And so now the signal is coming from this box and I can actually flip that switch. And so what that does is when everything's running, uh, if somebody comes along and hits the emergency shutoff switch, it'll switch power off to this, which will switch the signal back to this. And then that will um, reset the servo back to its zero position and engage the blade brake. Uh, so a lot of this is to accommodate that. This piece here is similar. It's just a big, uh, more massive servo and, or sorry, solenoid. And it allows me to have a very small current run through this. And uh, when it senses that, uh, the big current, uh, particularly for, for this thing, will run through here. And that way I don't have to have my fingers near it and I don't have to have a monster uh, switch capable of handling, I think, up to 80 amps, um, potentially. So, so yeah, so that's it. Um, in a nutshell, a lot of little parts. Oh, and then I got this one, this other little guy here. That's another relay, um, which provides, this is wired up to the spark plug on the mower, uh, such that again, if you kill power using the emergency switch, this flips, grounds the spark plug and, and kills the lawnmower engine itself. And then I just went overboard with some fans and some grills and a temperature probe and battery meter and uh, other doodads. But that's it in a nutshell.